On a rebel at the playing area, the umpire shall place the clipboard and the racket bag on the umpire's chair, and the assistant umpire shall put the equipment bag and stopwatch on the assistant umpire's desk behind the score indicator. And the ball box under the assistant umpire's table. When Bills players or pairs arrive in the playing area, the assistant umpire shall set the game score indicators to zero zero, and then use the net gauge to check the tension and height of the net. The umpire shall take the rackets out of the racket bags and place the rackets on the same half of the table by the sideline near the umpire for the players to pick up. Make sure that the whole racket, including its handle, is on the table. Then the umpire shall put the empty bag back to the umpire's chair and wait for the players to perform the coin toss. When checking, the assistant umpire shall start with the side of the net near the umpire's chair. First, ensure that the clamp is attached as close as possible to the table, and make sure there's no cord hanging down from the net post, which could affect the ball or distract the, the players. Next. Check the net tension by resting the lower groove of the weighted gauge at the center of the net, and adjust the tension until the bottom of the gauge just touches the playing surface. After that, check the height of the net at the end near the umpire's chair using a plastic net gauge. If the gauge is not in a vertical position, adjust it by raising the height of the net until the end of the gauge touches the playing surface. If the gauge is swinging, adjust it by lowering the height of the net until the end of the gauge touches the playing surface. When this is done. Take the racket bags from the umpire's chair and put them under the assistant umpire's table. Lastly, use the same method to check the height of the net at the end near the assistant umpire's table. The umpire shall stand in front of the umpire's chair and wait for the players. When the players come to the table. Ask the players to choose one color from the two-colored disc or coin. Perform the, the coin toss and ask the winner of the toss to decide on the choices: to serve or receive first, or to start at a particular end. The opponent will have the remaining choices. If a racket has not been checked at the call area, the umpire shall take a quick inspection on the racket and allow the opponent the opportunity to examine it. After this is done, proceed to conduct the, the coin toss. The assistant umpire shall organize and straighten out rounds if necessary. When completing all other pre-match tasks. The assistant umpire shall return to the assistant umpire table. The umpire shall ensure that the assistant umpire is ready to start stopwatch and then give the ball to the players. The assistant umpire shall start the stopwatch the moment when the player throws the ball to serve. The umpire shall sit down on the chair and record on the score sheet the sequence of serve and receive, and at which end of the table either side will start playing. When the time for practice is up, the assistant umpire shall stop the watch, raise hand above head, and call time. At the start of game, the umpire shall announce the names of the players and then point with open palm to the tee and announce the name of the first server. Make sure that both sides are ready to play, and then call "Love All." 
the assistant umpire shall change the score to zero zero and start a stopwatch at the moment when the player throws the ball to serve. For a team match, the umpire shall check carefully the team order list and the sequence of the players before conducting coin toss. When one singles or doubles match is finished, the assistant umpire shall collect back the rackets from the players, put them in their perspective racket bags, and place the bags under the desk. The assistant umpire shall then retrieve the ball, put the rackets for the next match on the table. Return the score indicator to its blank position, and get ready to perform the umpire's tasks for the next match. The umpire from the previous singles or doubles match shall complete the score sheet. Wait for the assistant umpire to finish the post-match procedure before changing positions. If a racket for the previous match needs to undergo an after-match test, the assistant umpire, when finishing the pre-match procedures for the next match, shall take the racket to the racket control center.